there are fears none of the big three could be in Melbourne for the upcoming Australian Open. Novak Djokovic is already the heavy favourite to win the title but now looks set to miss the first Grand Slam of 2022 as a result of the strict restrictions on unvaccinated players. If Federer and Nadal can recover in time to make the trip to Australia, they will receive a big boost in the absence of the world number one. Djokovic has been a doubt for the Australian Open amid rumours of a ban for unvaccinated players. The world number one had previously spoken out against a vaccine mandate on the tour, though it is looking increasingly likely one will be imposed by the Australian government for the upcoming Grand Slam. He would have been the favourite for the title, having won a record nine already, and a win in Melbourne would have seen the Serb pull ahead of Djokovic and Nadal with a record 21st major title. There is now little chance Djokovic will be competing in the Australia Open, as he admitted he was unsure if he'd go, and Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has since responded by revealing it is unlikely unvaccinated players will receive a visa into the country. With the nine-time champion all but ruled out, his absence can offer Federer and Nadal a big boost to their chances of attempting to get to a record 21st Grand Slam title themselves, permitting they return to the tour in time for the Australian Open. Of the two, the Spaniard seems more likely to make it to Melbourne for January's Grand Slam, especially considering players are expected to take their designated charter flights around Christmas time. Nadal ended his season early ahead of the US Open to allow time for a left foot injury he aggravated during the French Open to heal properly. He has since undergone an aggressive medical procedure and, though he recently admitted he did not know exactly when he would return to the tour, he made it clear he still had objectives for his comeback. The 35-year-old has also already made a return to the practice courts, a good sign he could be ready for match competition come mid-January. Federer, however, remains as much of a doubt as Djokovic for the Australian Open. The 40-year-old played just five events this year, after ending his season at the conclusion of the 2020 Australian Open and undergoing two knee surgeries. After losing in the Wimbledon quarterfinal, the world number 11 announced he had suffered a setback with his right knee injury and was undergoing a third surgery in 18 months, which would leave him out of the game for many months. He appeared at last month's Lava Cup in Boston to watch on from the stands and admitted it would still be a while before he made a return to the match court. It's going to take me a few more months and then we'll see how things are at some point next year, he said. I've got to take my time. I don't want to rush into anything at this point. This is also for my life. I want to make sure I can do everything I want to do later on. While Federer may not make it to Melbourne alongside Djokovic, Nadal may have the chance to win his second Australian Open title and be the first of the big three to break the record for the most men's singles titles at major level, pulling ahead to 21.